The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers in Judea heard that Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. And when Peter came up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers protested to him and said, So you have been visiting the uncircumcised and eating with them? Peter, in reply, gave them the details point by point. One day, when I was in the town of Jaffa, he began, I fell into a trance as I was praying and had a vision of something like a big sheet being let down from heaven by its four corners. This sheet came right down beside me. I looked carefully into it and saw four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, reptiles, and birds of heaven. Then I heard a voice that said to me, Now, Peter, kill and eat. But I answered, Certainly not, Lord. Nothing profane or unclean has ever crossed my lips. And a second time the voice spoke from heaven, What God has made clean, you have no right to call profane. This was repeated three times before the whole of it was drawn up to heaven again. Just at that moment, three men stepped outside the house where we were staying. They had been sent from Caesarea to fetch me. And the Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going back with them. The six brothers here came with me as well. And we entered the man's house. He told us he had seen an angel standing in his house who said, Send to Jaffa and fetch Simon, known as Peter. He has a message for you that will save you and your entire household. I had scarcely begun to speak when the Holy Spirit came down on them in the same way as it came on us at the beginning. And I remembered that the Lord had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. I realized then that God was giving them the identical gift he gave to us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And who was I to stand in God's way? That account satisfied them, and they gave glory to God, saying, God has clearly granted to the Gentiles too the repentance that leads to life. And our response comes from Psalm 42. I thirst for God, the living God. When shall I go to see the face of God? I have no food but tears day and night, as all day long I am taunted. Where is your God? Send out your light and your truth. They shall be my guide to lead me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then I shall go to the altar of God, the God of my joy. I shall rejoice and praise you on the harp. O oh God, my God. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The hired man, since he is not the shepherd and the sheep do not belong to him, abandons the sheep as soon as he sees a wolf coming and runs away. And then the wolf attacks and scatters the sheep. He runs away because he is only a hired man and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for my sheep. And there are other sheep I have that are not of this fold, and I must lead these too. They too will listen to my voice. And there will be only one flock, one shepherd. The Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me. I lay it down of my own free will. And as I have power to lay it down, so I have power to take it up again. And this is the command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord.